Hello, I'm Doug, owner of Electric Bike Solutions LLC, and today I want to talk to you about the controller. The controller is a main interface for all the components of your kit. It's not an extremely expensive component, it's about $65, but it is extremely important to the overall operation of your system. The first controller is our standard controller configuration. You can see it has a handful of connections here. These two, the red and the black, those are for the battery. This one here, it's a five pin connector. It's got five wires going into it. Yellow, blue, green, black, and red is the sequence. Those are your sensor wires. As I stated in an earlier video, sensors are not necessarily needed with our motors and our systems. We have it currently as a dual function, so you can plug it in or not. It's there as a backup only. This yellow, green, and red three pin connector is for the pedal assist and we're going to get into that because that's actually a whole different controller that we use when you want the pedal assist with display so that'd be the next controller we talk about the yellow and black connectors they're two pin connectors these are for the brake cutoff it's a safety feature so the instant you hit your brakes with those connected to these it is going to shut the motor off no matter if you've got your hand on the throttle or not these three connectors, blue, yellow, and green, they are the phase wires coming from your motor. So the motor cable plugs into these. And then this pink and red two pin connector, this is for your on off switch. That really sums it up for this other than the throttle. The throttle has two connections. One of them is red, black, and white and that is the main operating wire for this. The other one is a yellow, green, and brown. And what that does is it actually runs the display we have here that gives you the battery, an approximate battery indication. It's a thumb throttle. The more you depress it, it's variable speed, the faster you go. This button is used for cruise control. So you can hold this in the position you want, push that button in, let it back up, and that holds you at the wattage level that you desired. That's it for this controller. The other controller we use with our systems is one that interfaces with the pedal assist option. So this gives you five different levels of application and speed depending on how fast you want to go. I'm going to get into a more detailed explanation of the display itself and how you toggle through the different levels, but I just want to show you the differences between this one and the previous basic model controller. The, one of the uh, main differences is the throttle only has one connection because it doesn't have any lights or any cruise control feature as part of the throttle that's integrated with the display. So you've just got the one red, white, and black wire three pin connector for that. In addition, you're going to have another five wire connector, but it's white, so it's different from this one, as you may recall, that's the sensor wire connection. So this one's white, and that's what runs the display. And again, we're going to talk more about the display in a future video. Uh, in addition to that, again, you've got your motor wires here, and you have your black and, uh, black and red power wires. And then the other thing that we have that's just a little bit different on this one, it's also a red, white, and black connector, but the connector itself is white. So that differentiates between this and the throttle. And what that goes to is a speed sensor, kind of like your speedometer, that this will display. So it's going to hook to a sensor that goes on the fork that senses a magnet that's been attached to your spokes, which acts as your odometer and your speedometer. So those are the differences between the two controllers we offer.